Acharya Ji, please address this. With the deal Jesus made with the serpent, he knew what was coming. Doesn't that make Judas the disciple that loves Jesus the most? He must have known that in fulfilling his role, his life too would be over with. If it is like this, Judas sacrificed his life for Jesus Lord. We all love God and we all love Jesus too as well. The doubt, the question is not on the love. The ego loves the truth madly. There is no doubt about it. People do not differ in whether or not they love the truth. Everybody loves the truth. People differ in whether or not they directly love the truth. Appreciate the difference. In the epic story of Ramayana, if you go to a Lakshman or Hanuman or Vibhishan or Sita, they will say that they love Ram. So they are with Ram. And if you go to Ravan, he will say he loves Ram and therefore he is fighting Ram. He will say that his way of gaining liberation through Ram is to get, get, get killed by Ram. Now this is quite strange. This is strange and tragic because this indirect way leads to a lot of suffering for mankind. We all love the truth but there are two kinds of lovers. There is one kind that is simple and straightforward, innocent and says, because I love you, I am rushing towards you. And then there is another kind of lover, crooked, complex and egoistic. He says, because I love you, so I am going away from you, so that you may chase me. Because I love you, so I am going away from you, so that you may chase me. And that will be the fun of love. The second kind of lover is an agent of suffering. Who can hate Jesus? There are those who love Jesus and show love. And then there are those who love Jesus and show hatred. The expression is very, very important. The expression must be simple, straight, innocent.
The simple mind says, I'll go to the best and learn from him and be in his company and go to him because he is the best. The complex mind says, I'll go to the best and try to kill him because he is the best. Both of them surely believe the best to be the best. But the simple mind bows to the best and the complex mind slaughters the best or attempts to slaughter. That does not mean that any of them is oblivious of the supremacy of the best. Kabir has put it so very lucidly. घट घट मेरा साईया सोनी सेज न कोए ऑब्वियसली द ट्रूथ इज इन ईच मॉर्टल इन ईच हार्ट इन ईच पर्सन देयर इज नोबडी हु इज बेरफ्ट ऑफ ट्रूथ भले हाई वा घट के जा घट पर घट होए but of adulation is worthy only the one in whom the truth finds expression or the one who allows the truth to express itself. Saying that the truth resides in the heart of everybody is no big thing. Yes, of course. Truth is there in each heart. It's a tautology. The question is, are you living by the heart? The question is, are you allowing the truth to express itself or do you rather prefer yourself to be expressed? Surely Judas loves Jesus. I leave it to you to decide whether you love Jesus like Mary, like Peter or like Judas. There are all kinds of people around him. They all love Jesus. But see how the expressions vary. There is Mary the mother, there is Mary Magdalene. There is Peter the devoted one. There is Thomas the doubting one. And then there is Judas. And then there are the priests who sentence him. And then there is the crowd that watches this crucifixion. They all love Jesus. I leave it to you to decide how you want to love Jesus. It's the most important question you'd ever be asked. Meditate on this. <laughs>